It was a morning like all others. My head hurt like hell and my mouth tasted like the business end of a commode. I'd only been up for half an hour and I was already half in the bag. I didn't expect any trouble that morning, but like a fat kid craving pastry, I seemed to have a nose for it. Special delivery for Jack Haggerty. Hold on. Last time I heard those words, some big six with a bomb tried to slip me the fatal Mickey. Double up if this creep's a Jehovah's Witness. Dear Jack, by now I'm sure you assume me for dead. However, I assure you that I am very much alive. I cannot tell you the details of my disappearance, but I must assure you that the less you know, the safer you are. Take the contents of this package to Malone. He'll know what to do. Earl. My brother Earl. I haven't heard from him in months, and the only souvenir he sends me hardly makes a decent paperweight. Look at this pigsty. Either someone was trying to find something, or Malone's old lady was on the rag. Malone always kept a journal of his pursuits hidden in an old Bible. Clearly, these goons didn't go to Sunday school. I needed to get the skinny on this paperweight. There was only one place in town for me to get the scoop. Which one of you gents can tell me about the Onyx Lager? One of Dillinger's goons in the slammer tipped me off to Baron von Heinz, a tycoon shut in from the meatpacking district. I can't imagine why that crowd wants this bathroom ornament to begin with, but it seems to be worth something to Malone. I went to Von Hein's art warehouse. I certainly didn't plan on using the knocker. You got any gum? Should have given me that gum. If the Baron has any more brutes like this, I'm gonna need a bigger gun.
Not so fast, Mr. Haggerty. Where is the Onyx Liger? Where's the rest of your glasses? Very funny, Mr. Haggerty. But what you must realize is that Zwick can make very short work of Malone if you do not cooperate. Looks like you made short work of the buffet. <laughs> yes, Mr. Haggerty, I have an appetite for many things, including priceless artifacts. And steak dinners. Yes, Mr. Haggerty, we have established that I am an ample-sized gentleman. You're fat. That's it. Zwick, come quickly! Zwick ain't coming. He's as cold as the metal in his mouth. So it is between me and you. Give me the Onyx Lager, or you and your friend will die. I had enough of the fat man's malarkey. No! No! Please! Mr. Haggerty, let's be sensible here! Do not ruin my priceless works of art! I was naming for the art! Why do you want the Lager anyway? Give it up, Baron. You're outnumbered. Gentlemen, surely we could work out some kind of... Not a bad shot for a Cyclops. I like what you've done with your face. I'm still alive, Jack. Unfortunately, you won't be once I get the Liger. You see, Jack, I'm a spy. The Nazis need it to power their war machine. That's why I tried to find your brother. He had the Liger. But since you have it... Why don't you hand it over so I can repay you for that bullet in the back? <laughs> so I was kind of hoping you forgot about that. Let's make this easy. Just hand it over. Face it, Toots. There's two of us, one of you, and last time I checked, you were down an eyeball. Malone. I'd expect this from Trace Bullet. But from you? Sorry, Jack. Been waiting half my life for this. It's too good to pass up. This broad is bad business. Think about what you're doing, Malone. I have. And if it means choosing between a fine piece of tail or a drunk like you, I know where my priorities are. The Liger! Go suck an egg! Have it your way. Will Jack Haggerty escape? Where is his brother Earl? Who has the Onyx Liger? These questions and more will be answered when Jack Haggerty returns in Terror on the Middle East.